Hello guys, we are making dinner. We actually tonight, had not been we in a while. Pretty much gonna cook like 90% of this, thank you very much. Are you? All you gotta do is throw rice in a pot and leave it for 20 minutes. Well, I thought I was gonna cook this also. Let me tell you what this man just did. Oh, I'm, I'm just, I'm mad even thinking about it. So Sam's here cutting these peppers and he says, will you go get the vacuum? God, this is gonna make me sneeze. Will you go get the vacuum? I dropped some seeds in the floor. Sure, okay, I'll go get the vacuum. So I come get the vacuum. I'm actively vacuuming up and he like turns to the side with seeds in his hand and he's like, putting them in the floor. So let me ask you a question. Who raised him? You spill sugar on the counter, a little bit gets in the floor. You go get the vacuum and get off the floor. Do you try to get it up off the counter or do you push it all in the floor and vacuum it all I up? I get it off the counter. Because I was raised to not make more messes once you've already made if it's a mess. Already, if it's already a mess on the counter and you're using uh -huh. the vacuum. So vote in, but I was already, I had already vacuumed it up. Like that's what annoyed me. The vacuum me. is still running. You were still there. So that, I guess vote in the description, um, vote, vote in the comment section. If you've already made a mess, do you leave it? So like if you have sugar and it's on the counter and it's on the ground, do you dump it into the floor? Or do you vacuum clean it all up, up together? Or do you clean up both messes because? Or do you vacuum the floor and then try to use paper towels to wipe it off the counter, which is more than likely going to put more on the floor anyway. Whatever. So the typical. Um, a couple people asked for our like sausage, peppers, and rice recipe. It is exactly as it sounds. It's not a recipe, but I was just going to share it. It's literally brown rice, sausage and peppers and you can use whatever peppers you want and you just cook them all like we cook them technically separate we cook like if, you're, if they're wanting like specific proportions it's oh no use a pepper just diced up what so like if, if you're talking about like proportions like oh yeah how many parts of this is we use a whole red pepper a whole green pepper and then and then many cups a, of a, a, however much we want and then we use a whole pack of sausage. But I mean, there's that just feeds us and we have some leftovers. 16 ounce Get a little closer. Okay, is, okay, okay. Too close. I'm trying to get the, this is just like. <laughs> it's just wild. sausage. Yeah, it's nothing crazy. You can get hotter and spicier if you want hotter and spicier stuff. Obviously. But always do brown rice first if it's in the instant pot because it does take a little bit longer. It only takes 11 minutes. I think I've said this so many times. Um, it takes 11 minutes, but you're supposed to like, let it naturally release for as long as you can instead of do a quick release. Pressure 11 and it's my part's done. Sam was actually telling me earlier, I have been spoiling him. I've been doing all the laundry now that I'm home and I've been doing the cooking. And so he was, I guess that's why he's doing his cooking tonight. He so wants to. Week, well, you also were like wanting dinner at like 5.30. Like I'm barely off work by the time you're like, dinner is about to be ready. Yeah, I get hungry. Little, little pro tip for the sausage. Pro tip for the sausage? Well, I mean sausage comes in these little, it's like in a, it's kind of gross. It's in like a sleeve. That's what makes uh. it pack together like when they run it through the machine. So if you try to use like a regular knife, unless you have super sharp ones and you cut it, the sleeve kind of like, I don't know what you would say. It, the, the sleeve like wants to hold it together. So it's like all makes a mess and they like, they squish more than they cut. So we found a good pair of like nice sharp kitchen scissors. Just like immediately cuts and like you can portion them out however big you want. And like it keeps the casing around the edge because otherwise like it's just like it's like ground beef essentially it's like mushed processed meat so we actually what was it we made the other day we actually cut the skin like no we made oh it was just like a three to one queso that's what it was three to one yeah queso and he and like had I, to squeeze all ugh, it was really gross yeah all i did was i literally like stripped the sleeve off of the sausage and just squish it out like hamburger meat which is kind of gross to think about but, but it actually worked and it was so good i'm sure you could buy ground pork instead of getting it yeah and i did get ground turkey um but yeah this is it's so much faster than trying to cut i mean oh my gosh like, cuts off like 10 minutes 10 15 minutes of prep time it also makes them easier to cook when i was cutting them with the knife the first couple times like i said it, it like squishes them really bad 
and then when you try to cook it, you're like, you know, it's still a meat, so you try it does. to, you try it, like, to makes it, them flat. and so you can't really flip them. And like this way, it makes it pretty much have a, a down, you know, like a good flat side. They're really, it's really good though. And it, y'all, it literally, we are not, our recipes that we make, we ain't reinventing the wheel. Oh, your face is like completely cut off. My bad. That's fine. I didn't notice that. No more, I see that. I want to see it. Your face is cute. Um, we are not like reinventing the wheel here. All the recipes we do are very easy. So, do you add any olive oil or anything to yours, or do you cook these in the like, grease that comes from this? You so what I always do is cook the meat first all the way through, then put a little tiny bit of olive oil, and then put the seasoning on so that the seasoning sticks to the like olive oil and then throw the, the peppers in there because the peppers only need to be in for like, I don't know, probably like two, three minutes at the most. All you're really doing to the peppers is just like heating them up. It's so much quicker when you use those daggum scissors. And I'm sure if you had like a really nice set of kitchen scissors, like, probably, th like these are good ones. They came with a good knife set, but like, they're, they're serrated. They're not like straight scissors, but I'm sure if you had some real nice scissors, it'd probably be even easier. Sorry guys, I had a video go up. A couple hours ago. The one that was like half an hour late? Yeah. So, um, I'm just focused on that, but Sam and I have been drinking tea daily and it has become quite a ritual in our house and it's so funny because before I met Sam, I think I maybe drank one cup of coffee a week and I did it when I was like desperate to stay up but I hated the taste of it. And when I started dating Sam, he was like, no, we're gonna drink coffee. Like you're gonna understand that coffee is life. And then I became completely obsessed, couldn't go without it. I've tried to back off a little bit because I was getting to like where I was drinking so much that it was like unhealthy. Um, so now I try to eat foods that have like natural caffeine in them, but we do love a good afternoon cup of tea. And that was also something I never did before I dated Sam. Like Sam, I remember the first time, I think we had been dating for a couple months and he was like, oh, I have a sore throat, I'm gonna drink some tea. And I was like, what? Like, Huh? Well, it's actually very good for you and very good. So I have my little old, I just cut three years, don't know where it came from. I think it was a gift. Dehydrate, you spend way coffee goes It doesn't surprise me. But I drank enough water for like three people. So not super worried about it. This is so good. Good boy. Okay, so he's cooking the sausage now. He'll just literally cook it until it's done. Like nothing super exciting about it. Um, and then, like he said, once it's like, done, he'll add a little bit of olive oil. This brown rice is gonna finish. We're gonna throw it in a bowl and then it's dinner and it is right. so good. And I only add the olive oil if there's not like a lot of natural grease from the meat. If, there, if it's like enough in the bottom that it's like got something that yeah. will keep the peppers from touching oh, you the bottom. Your tea. I usually don't even put oil in there. The tall Can sides. your cup go in the dishwasher? Yeah, everything. No, it can't. Yes, it can. No, it can't. Well, hello, friends. Um, I don't think I've picked up a vlog camera in the past two days. It's been a couple busy days. I have literally not stopped since, like, I woke up Monday morning at 7 a.m. Yeah, it definitely was earlier than that. I think it was, like, 6. I've been waking up earlier and earlier. It's, like, 6.15 now. Um, but today is Wednesday, so you'll be seeing this tomorrow. I've got to run to the post office right now. I got to take my, um, giveaway gifts that you guys went on Instagram. Um, I got to take those. One of them is in a Sephora box. It's just a mess. Um, I got in my little Louis Vuitton scarf. I love it. It is so pretty. It is just perfect for the bag. And I like that it protects the leather. Like I like that no matter what, I won't have to spray more Apple Guard on it. And if I one day just decide to take off that scarf, the top of it, the leather will still look good. So um, apart from that, I literally don't have any updates because all I've been doing, all we've been doing is working. Like it has just been the busiest week. I feel like I say that all the time, but it's very true. And it's not like we are like important busy. We're just like busy with like the stuff we're doing just takes a long time. <laughs> all right. I got to quit talking. I got to go. Cause I think this, I think the last mail pickup is like three 30 and it's two 51. All right. I just got a package from a subscriber. Um, she sent it to my PO box. Oh, dog, they said they love you. Oh my gosh, I could like cry, that's so sweet. Oh, 
of Silky Promises Dark Chocolate and Peanut Butter. Oh, heck, freaking yeah. I'm going to, um, this is basically a box of her favorites. Also, I love this, um, I love this bubble wrap. Where, where do you get pretty pink bubble wrap from? I want some. And these stickers? Oh, Lord. Girl, you own it with your shipping. I clearly need to get it together. Oh my God, this is a Laura Lee Los Angeles palette. Nudie Patootie. My God, it's huge. Oh, cannot wait to try that out. Oh my gosh. That is like so sweet. Is not expecting this. Oh, this is the best lotion. Oh my god, this is like the sweetest package. I'm gonna keep this bubble wrap though. Like for realsies. Ooh, Nexus combo through finishing mist. Oh, I used to use Nexus dry shampoo or Nexus shampoo and conditioner, and I always really liked their stuff. Oh my god, this is so sweet. Ooh, wait. Oh my god, this stuff is like amazing. So scrunchies, I love scrunchies. Oh my god. Sam, this is the sweetest package. You've got to come look at what she sent me. Gosh. Lashes. Winifred 2-in-1 self-adhesive eyeliner. What? Oh, I'm so trying that tomorrow. Holy crap. Dry texture finishing spray. This, I like legit could cry. This is like the sweetest thing ever. Thank you so much, Mary. This stuff is so sweet. I cannot wait to use this, especially this palette. And I'm actually about to go edit a video. So I'm gonna take these uh, dark chocolates and go eat them. Okay, I really need to go edit now. Gotta go edit, I gotta clean up this mess though. The face of beauty. <laughs> I have my Barefoot Dreams blanket wrapped around me and I am and I am drinking my coffee because I have no desire to get out of bed today. It is so freaking cold out. Um, but I just wanted to, sorry, I'm trying to like log into something on my computer, but I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching this vlog. I did want to make sure I close this one out. <laughs> I've been slack about that, but we love you guys and we hope that we see you in our next vlog.